On today's episode, we're going to be discussing the water cycle. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. What is the water cycle, and how does it work? The water cycle is the continuous movement of water in its many different forms on Earth. We can all speculate as to how we think that water arrived on Earth, but no one really knows. All we do know is that water moves in a continuous cycle on Earth, and it has for millions and millions of years. To understand the water cycle, we need to understand these three terms. Precipitation is any form of water that falls from clouds to Earth's surface. Evaporation occurs when heat from the sun changes water from oceans, lakes, and rivers to water vapor. Water vapor rises in the air and cools. Condensation occurs when cool water vapor condenses into water droplets and forms clouds. There's many different types of precipitation. Fog, rain, snow, hail, and sleet. Rain. Clouds are made up of tiny droplets of water. Rain falls when these droplets become too heavy to float in the air. Snow. Snowflakes form when water droplets freeze into crystals, which then stick together as they fall through very cold air. Fog forms near ground level when warm, moisture-rich air is cooled by contact with the cold ground or sea surface. Hailstones are ice pellets that grow from ice crystals and freezing storm clouds. The taller the cloud, the bigger the hailstones. Sleet is a mixture of snow and rain. It forms when rain begins to freeze in storm clouds. How much water exists on Earth? About 71% of Earth's total surface area is covered with water, and 96.5% of all the water found on Earth is found in the oceans. Now that we've covered all those vocabulary specific terms dealing with the water cycle, we can answer the question, what is the water cycle and how does it work? Well, clouds are made of water vapor. When air temperature is colder than 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it converts from a liquid to a solid, from rain to snow. The warmth from the sun makes water evaporate. Water evaporates into the air from plants and trees. This process is known as transpiration. Groundwater seeps back to the surface to flow out. Water freezes into snow and ice on mountains. Rivers flow into lakes and ocean. So in conclusion, let's review the water cycle. Water drops form in clouds, and the drops then fall to earth as precipitation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail. The heat of the sun provides energy to make the water cycle work. The sun evaporates water from the oceans into water vapor. This invisible water vapor rises into the atmosphere where the air is colder. The water condenses into clouds. Air currents move clouds all around the earth and the water cycle repeats over and over and over again. The way it always has been, the way that it is, and the way that it will always be. The water cycle. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and feel free to check out our Pinterest boards. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where we have over a hundred videos just like this one. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.